accordance with the law is not an Excuse me, Sergeant? There, there is no law. sign saying I cannot have a weapon. Now you're going to be, you want to be arrested. Is that it? For what? For what? Sergeant? Right now we're going to go with having a weapon in the city park. This is a violation of my Second Amendment right. Explain it. I don't have to explain it to you, sir. I'm going to explain it to him. It has nothing to do with you. Put your hands in the air. Negative, Sergeant. Put your hands Negative, in the air. Negative, Sergeant. You're about to get the out of me. Hello, and welcome back to Legal Descent, where we evaluate your constitutional rights before they're taken away. Thank you all for joining us, and I would like to take just a second to point out a few things about our channel. First, we are a legal evaluation and analysis channel. We are not a news reporting agency. We receive requests from subscribers to evaluate certain videos, and we try to provide an accurate legal analysis on that specific situation. Sometimes it means we take a look back at old videos. As long as we feel that we are adding value to that video and are able to use it as a teachable moment for our audience. The law evolves slowly, and anything that occurs within the past 30 years is considered relatively current from a legal perspective. Our primary mission is to inform, educate, and activate as many people as possible to know what your rights are in America today. With that being said, if you enjoy our content and want us to continue creating these videos, please subscribe to the channel, let us know that you support us by liking this video and commenting below. As always, the links to the original videos, case law, statutes, and any other sources we use are located, along with all of our contact information, in the description. Many of you have been requesting us to take a deeper look at Second Amendment rights. We've received multiple videos that you'd like us to evaluate, and we'll take a look at two of them today. The first is of a law student in Maine who was stopped back in 2013 by an officer because the student was openly carrying a firearm on a public street. How are you? Not bad. Uh, just so I can uh, concentrate on what you're saying, yep. I'm just going to... Okay, I don't consent to any searches. I just want to make that I'm, clear. I'm not going to search you. I don't okay. consent to any seizures either. Okay, I'm just going to hold this like so have a conversation here. Okay. Um, what crime are you? Uh, am I suspected of committing? And nope. uh, you just pointed that gun at me when it was loaded, just so you know. You twisted yeah. it, pointed it right at me. Exactly. Before you wrecked the slide, you pointed I it right at my legs. <laughs> um, people are calling about a guy walking around with a gun. So. Okay. Uh, that's not illegal. Can I have my gun back and get I moving along? Need your ID, and then we'll get you on your way. Sir. What crime do you suspect me of committing? Like I said, people are starting to call about a guy carrying a gun. Yep, that's a report of illegal activity. What crime do you suspect me of committing? In order to stop me, you have to su suspect me of a crime. Can you get your supervisor here? He is on the way. Okay, thank you. Okay, but like I said, people are concerned. It's a public safety issue, so I'm here to make sure everyone's all set. You make sure you're all set. Okay, so I just need to get your ID, and we'll call it good. No, sir. You're not going to give me your ID. Unless you are issuing me a summons as 17A, 15A I need to make sure requires, you, then... Can you let me speak for a second? Yep. I need to make sure you're not a felon to carry this. Do you suspect me of being a felon? I don't know you. So okay, if you don't suspect me of being a felon, then I would like my gun back, and I would like to proceed on my way. In order to carry a gun, you're not allowed to be a felon. Correct, but unless you suspect me of being a felon, there's no reason for you to stop me. There is a reason to stop you. Unless you suspect me of a crime, as Terry v. Ohio, Delaware v. Uh, Prouse, uh, requires you to have a suspicion of crime before you detain an individual. Brown v. Texas does, no, does not allow you to stop an individual and demand their ID. The law student fires off multiple cases in this encounter. First with Terry v. Ohio. The United States Supreme Court held that in order to legally detain an individual, the officer must have reasonable, articulable suspicion of criminal activity. Delaware v. Prowse supports Terry's position, but extends it to individuals who are driving, so it's kind of irrelevant in this situation. In Brown v. Texas, the Supreme Court held that the compelling of identification from an individual without reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime is unconstitutional. Therefore, this law student is absolutely correct. Carrying a firearm on a public street is not inherently illegal. The officer is allowed to respond to the concerned phone calls and speak with the individual allegedly carrying, but he is not legally allowed to detain him or compel him to identify without reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. Speak to you on a person-to-person on a -person basis here? Uh, no. You're not going to give me your No, nope, I'm not going to be that type of guy when we're trying to have a conversation. I'm sorry, sir, but for my own protection, 
I would rather not give you anything because any name I give you is going to go in the police report about this incident. There's going to be no police report. There's a police log generated for every call. This is called a pedestrian call. Yep. And unless you have a reasonable suspicion that I'm committing a crime, you can't detain me. I have to be free to leave. You have, it has to be a consensual encounter, sir. Here's the deal, sir. You are walking down Congress Street carrying a gun. Yes. Okay. Is that illegal? It's a cause for concern. Do you suspect me of committing a crime? Sir. Do you suspect me of carrying a crime, committing a crime, yes or no? Sir, I need... Ah, uh, suspenders. Keep my pants up. Yeah, that's the buckle for the suspenders. This is common practice, dude. Okay. Yep. Um, it's guy. illegal, common practice. It's not illegal. You see a guy walking down the street carrying a gun. Yep. Okay. Is that the only reason why you stopped me? Yes. That I'm carrying a gun? Yes. Okay. In that case, I want you to refer you to Debiri v. U.S. Debiri v. U.S. Okay. Debiri v. U.S. says that a firearm, where legally carried, cannot be the only cause for reasonable suspicion for a, for a stop. Yep. Am I free to go? You are. Okay, can I have my gun back? Sure. Thank you. United States versus DeBerry is a really interesting case that will apply to the next video. In DeBerry, an individual was carrying a concealed handgun in Illinois, where at the time, the concealed carrying of handguns was illegal no matter who you were. The court held that armed persons are so dangerous to the peace of the community that the police should not be forbidden to follow up a tip that a person is armed. And as a realistic matter, this will require a stop in all cases. In that specific case, the officer had reasonable, articulable suspicion that DeBerry was committing a crime because it was illegal to conceal and carry at that time in Illinois. The statute has since been overturned. However, if this case had occurred in another state where people were allowed to conceal and carry, the police would be allowed to accost an individual and ask whether they were carrying a gun, but if the asking crossed over to commanding, then it would be essential that the officers have a reasonable belief and not just a mere hunch that there was a violation of the law. Therefore, this officer has the right to approach the law student and even ask him whatever questions he would like but he is not allowed to compel or command the student into answering anything or identifying. In this next video, James Sorensen, an army veteran, was leaving a gay pride festival at Acacia Park in Colorado Springs, Colorado in July of 2012. Multiple people called the police because Sorensen was openly carrying a handgun in the park, which led to police confronting Sorensen. This is outrageous. This is this is this is a violation of my Second Amendment right. Great. We'll talk law all day long. Where, where's the sign saying no weapons? Where are the signs, officer? There, there's no sign saying I can't have my weapon. Show me a sign. You show me a sign, and I'll never come back here. Sir, ignorance of the law is not. Excuse me, Sergeant. There, there is no sign saying I cannot have a weapon. Now you're going to be. You want to be arrested? Is that it? For what? For what? Sergeant? Right now we're going to go with having a weapon in a city park. There was no law in Colorado that criminalized the carrying of firearms in a public park in 2013. That law had changed 10 years prior to this video in 2003. This is, this is against the law. This is against my amendment right. My second amendment right, Sergeant. Then hire an attorney when you get done with it. How's that sound What's your name? Sergeant. Sergeant what? Vargason with a V. Sergeant Vargason, Sergeant. Lays off. Lays off. You didn't do anything except you wanted to tase me, sort of. It's not your fault. I'm just following orders. He said he's going to tase you. He said you have a taser, did you not? Department. Say again, Sergeant. You're making this worse. Than I am not making this worse. You guys are trying to violate making it worse? my Second Amendment right. How is he making it worse? All we did was ask you to leave. And I was leaving, was I not, Sergeant? No, you were not. I was going this way. We were going to our vehicle. I was leaving. And you guys were following this us. Is, this is against my second amendment right. I haven't walked around this park for three hours, and no one said a word to me. But now I walk by you. Including him. We walked by him You were over times. on the other corner, correct? I was. And I have my weapon. I walked right and by you. You right didn't say us. a word to me. This is a violation of my second amendment right. No one's going to hire an attorney to catch it. I am being detained. Am I not? Now you are. This is against the law. 
This is a huge issue with law enforcement today. They treat everyone as criminals and then expect you to hire an attorney and prove your innocence in order to combat their incompetence. An individual should not be expected to shell out thousands of dollars in order to defeat illegal detainments and arrests. It is not great that these officers violated the law. Am I free to go, Sergeant? No. Why? How are you going to arrest me? Are you going to answer my question? No. Okay, answer why? Your question. You're not involved in this. Yes, okay, I am. Why am I not allowed to go, Sergeant? I'm with him. So what's going on? Okay, so we can leave then. So can Explain I the situation or we're going to leave. Explain it. I don't have to explain it to you, sir. I'm going to explain it to him. It has nothing to do with you. Whatever. Excuse me, Sergeant. This has everything to do with him. This is my partner. It has nothing to do with him. This is against the law. You guys are breaking the law right now. Here, you're going to take this. You're going to take this. This stuff really doesn't matter. If I could, I'd take my weapon off and give it to you too, so you can go. Yeah, well, we're still in a city park. No, I'm not. Take it off. I think that's it. Just then let me go. I am. For what? Why am I being detained, Sergeant? Why do you have to yell? Because this is illegal. Well then, let me go, or I will walk away. That's going to be a mistake. For why? Why would it be a mistake? I'm just telling you it's going to be a mistake. Why, Sergeant? Explain to me why it would be a mistake. That's why they have a court system. Sure. You can question it where you can there. Again, this is infuriating. Why is the burden on citizens to defend themselves in court from incompetent officers who do not know the law? Okay. They're going to arrest me for no reason. They're putting me in the back of a police car for no reason. I have asked to be released multiple times. I am not going in the back of a police car, Sergeant. There is there is no reason for me to go in the back of a police car. Do not put me in the back of a police car. Where is it going? What's that? Where is it going? Where is what going? Where am I going? You're still going to be detained. I don't know, Sergeant. I would like to go home. Put your hands in the air. Negative, Sergeant. Put your hands Negative, in the air. Negative, Sergeant. You're about to get the shit kicked out of you. I am about to get arrested for nothing. He said in the air, Sergeant, and he is taking my weapon off me. I am being disarmed for no reason at all. Now I'm being arrested for no reason at all. These cops are arresting me for no reason at all. This is an outrage. You sergeants should be prosecuted. This is some fucking bullshit. Excuse me? Bob, wow, going? that is the most what did he say? I've ever heard in my life. Said he said, is there any food on my bread? Go so ahead, I, I, I will not resist arrest. This is some bullshit. I am now being arrested. This is bullshit. For you having a weapon in a park what? where it doesn't say it's You can do it illegal. to it, but give him space. Oh, excuse me, Sergeant? Six years in the Army, now I'm going to murder somebody. You're a fucking asshole. This is wrong. I am now under arrest for no reason at all. Why am I under arrest, Sergeant? I'm going to get jacked up. That's what he just said. Because I don't want to walk and get in the back of a cop car. All of Sorensen's charges were dropped and he sued the police department. The city spokeswoman at the time, Barbara Miller, stated, Although the prohibition against carrying pistols in city parks was repealed nine years earlier, the update didn't make it into a cheat sheet that officers used as a primer on Colorado Springs law. He was right and we were in the wrong, definitely, Miller said. The police sent a letter to Sorensen acknowledging that a police officer failed to follow procedures and that police had taken appropriate administrative action. Despite all of this, the city attorney's office said police were acting reasonably based on their understanding of the law and that their conduct was not outrageous or extreme. Here's the thing though, the officer even said so to Sorensen, ignorance of the law is no excuse. Sorensen was awarded $23,000 and he settled in exchange for dropping his claims. What do you think? Was the officer's conduct outrageous or extreme? 
Is it reasonable for officers to be able to approach or detain individuals simply because they are carrying a gun? Let us know in the comments below. And remember that no matter who you are, you have value and you have rights. Do not be afraid to use them and we'll see you next time right here on Legal Descent.